All right, guys, here we are, episode eight, of part three of season two of Arcane. We just came off the heels of watching episode seven, and, you know, just when I think I've seen the best episode that Arcane has to offer, I watched the next episode, and I'm like, nope, this is the best episode. That dancing sequence with Echo and Jinx, and that entire episode, seeing a future of Piltover in the Undercity that could have been, is something that uh, will live with me for a long time. And as we continue through these final two episodes, I'm, I'm very anticipating moments just like that that will just leave me absolutely speechless. I love the dancing scene. I love the, the moments of these two incredibly brilliant minds actually working together on the same side to make something happen. It's, it's almost a reality that you wish you could see in the, the normal kind of existence that they've been experiencing but you know to see it in this moment everybody happy vander and silco people forgiving you know the cycle of violence and hatred actually ending and and having people come together it's it makes it kind of sad that this is not echo's true reality and the world that he has come to know and you know but it was it did give him a glimpse that something like that is potentially possible and i'm sure he's going to go into episode eight and nine with that mentality so i'm excited to see how things play out i'm assuming that episode eight is probably going to take us back to exactly where things ended off with Isha potentially sacrificing herself uh, and exactly what what is going to happen but based on what we saw in episode seven it seems possible that Echo may now know how to reverse time and that could potentially be very vital in these final episodes so uh, you know that's enough of my theories guys I'm excited to see how things end up in that last two episodes of Arcane really bittersweet moments here N you know nervous to see how things play out but excited to share in that experience with each and every one of you if you're seeing this episode over on YouTube drop a like on this video comment down below what your favorite episode has been so far and subscribe if you're new here and want to become a part of the uh, ultimate watch party and if you want to see full uncut version of this episode I'll put a link to my patreon in the description of this video if you guys want to check that out that's enough of my rambling though, guys. I hope you brought the popcorn as we jump into episode eight of season two of Arcane. But I'm curious if she unlocked some new ability. We always thought she might have powers. Oh, holy hell, dude. Dude, she looks sick. And it looks like she did break out of whatever spell she was under. There is no time like your first. Who the hell? One of you. We each have our own expressions. Yours is quite rare. Attuned to the ethereal. Able to sense others' inner selves and bend their magic. Conduit and a mirror. What? I think beneath that mask you're scared. Dude, she looks sick. That makes me a threat. For the gifted, arrogance is the ultimate threat. Your power has merit. Or should one want you dead? A simple blade will do nicely. Damn. my brother? Regrettably, his fate wasn't among your mother's life. You killed him. I gave Ambessa every opportunity to atone for her transgressions. She chose pride over progeny. But you need not bear her crimes. The test. <laughs> this whole charade. You want to recruit? Your talents develop quickly. It's no coincidence. Dude, so she's evil. The calamity is approaching. Rivaling even the ancient moon wars. Ambassa sits at the helm, blinded by her thirst for legacy. Our efforts to divert her course have founded. We can't afford another failure. Well, oh, what does she do, though? Your birth. The entire course of your life was no accident. She hid you because you are that which she covets most. Oh, well. Damn, dude, that's dirty. But it also makes so much sense. You've been born into a new family, from which you'll find there is sadly no return. Welcome to your future. So that's why she was banished from her from her world, right? The perilous place for a solitary mage. Sister. Damn, so she is Mel the Mage. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, it has a nice ring to it. Ah, oh, that's kind of sick. And her mom knew about it. Dude, that's that's even worse. Damn. His injuries were too severe. We do not lament a warrior's death. We avenge it. Damn, look at all those bodies. 
the blood should sustain Victor for a short while. Beyond that, it is up to his own will. You promised a cure to death. An outcome dependent on Victor's survival. Damn, they got a bunch of tubes up in this thing. What the hell? This will allow you to evolve others? In theory. But Jace's attack has done its work. I do not have the strength to overcome the defense he will raise against me. Interesting. If you agree to empower every soldier I bring you. So is Victor bad? Like, I'm still confused at that, you know? It definitely seems like Victor, like, wanted Jace to, to hurt him. Damn, dude, that's so unfortunate. What the hell's he doing there? Where are the others? Hate. Jinx. Jinx. Loris. Spit it out. Now this could be a necessary first step in forgiveness, you know? If you're here to kill me, make sure to finish the job. Well, I think you've changed. She can't accept what you and I know. Dude, her hair is so long. Is that all you have to say for yourself? There won't be a trial. I'm giving you this one chance to account for your actions. All the pain you've caused. No amount of good deeds can undo our crimes. That's so unfortunate. Like, Jinx, she seems like she's really given up. I've hated myself. I just don't have the energy for it any longer. I didn't know your mom was there. Probably wouldn't have made a difference, but I didn't know. Doesn't matter. Something happened to me, too. You're the reason we didn't die in the attack. Apparently so. How long have you known? Dude. Feelings I couldn't explain. I still don't fully understand. So she protected them. Why not save all of them? It wasn't a decision. One moment you're addressing the council and the next we're standing in rubble. I didn't have any greater awareness. How can I know you aren't lying to me? Why would you think I am? Because you used me and Victor for Hextech. Smiths. Two brilliant young inventors who shared a pension for impossible surprises. Dude. What the hell? Allow us a moment of civility, Jace. We must talk. Victor. Oh, nah. How did you get in here? You once benefited from my knowledge of this place. That was a long time ago. And you give me. I would have shown you the merits of my work. Our work. No. No, he's definitely evil. <laughs> What the hell? But I'm alone no longer. I now speak with all their voices. Say what you came here to say. Somehow I think you already understand what must transpire to come. I would prefer to do so in peace. The Noxian has other intentions. Is he gonna kill Mel? Holy hell. What the hell? Clouds your judgment. This chain of events started. Holy hell! But I now 
comes then. The glorious evolution is destined. Let do this once again as partners. My partner died in this room. That's true. He said, run those hands. Dude, it's like, how do you even beat someone like this? So he has to kill Jace? Holy hell, dude. Damn, they hit him with the sandwich. Dude, that was that was actually insane. Doctor, you may begin the process. Damn, so he wanted him to do that. Like he wanted he wanted Jace to kill him. I swiped these from the guard station. If you come, help use all that explosive potential of you. Dude. Maybe we could rewrite your story like you did with Zahn. What do you think? Dude, her hair got so long. Or was it always that long? She just didn't braid anymore. Hey! You don't have to worry about me. You deserve to be with her. Wait. There's no good version of me. What are you gonna do? Break the cycle. Wait. What the hell? Damn, she was like, I know you. To say, you've grown a bit predictable. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, she's about to go see her mom. And I wonder if that's why she has been messing around with those runes. It's to stop magic like her daughter but that that would be crazy right she, there's no way she thought of that i know about the black rose you know a facade they are nothing but lies you taught me the best lies come wrapped in truth what really happened to your brother was struck with curiosity he got caught in their web and with every action grew more deeply entangled so you let him die i carried him in my belly damn him from my bosom he was all the sweetness in my heart for that they took him carved into me a wound that will never close i pray you never suffer the agony of being forced to forsake one child to save another you should have come to me you'd have made the impossible intolerable i did what you could not for you for the family piltover has nothing to damn dude that's actually tough board your boats leave our shores i will join you. their very nature violates the most core of noxian principles that every one of us is equal on the battle. That through cunning, sweat, and steel, we shape our destinies. Damn. So those negate magic, right? Prove you still lack the wrath necessary to defeat an enemy like the Rose. I've found another way. I will miss our talks. Damn. Damn, dude. So he tore out any, like, ounce of humanity. Any ounce of Vander that remained. Now, is this, like, Vil Victor's selfish pursuit of power, or... Or what? Dude, this is actually wild. He created an army of 
Super Soldiers. Damn, dude, they barely defeated one. All right, guys, so I think it goes without saying, uh, Victor is definitely evil. And, you know, there were a lot of theories that thrown around, and I think people who are more familiar with the games and the lore, I think, had already confirmed that Victor is, in the games, a bad guy. But I, I wasn't exactly sure how he would kind of reach that level in this show. And when we get to the end of episode six and we see you know, Jace kill Victor, you know, you almost think that Jace is actually bad, but come to realize this was all a part of Victor's plan. This is exactly what he wanted. He, it was what he needed to reach his, his next, his, to ascend to the next level of, of you know, enlightenment or whatever you want to call it. But man, I, I, I don't, you know, I'm kind of confused by this and I hope that it, it, you know, it is explained in the last episode exactly what Victor is after, what he's been trying to do. Uh, you know, his fascination with Hextech and all of that stuff felt very genuine and now ever since he died and was fused with this sort of entity it seems like he's almost actually been possessed by this obsession for power and for dominance uh and maybe he wants to be the smartest you know individual in, in in all of society or something i i don't know there's a lot of questions that i have going into the final episode we still don't know what jinx is about to do it very much feels like she's on a path to uh, redemption via potentially becoming a martyr maybe perhaps her the way in which she achieves this is by sacrifice that's definitely what i'm assuming is going to happen it feels like it feels like vi or jinx is definitely going to sacrifice herself and that will be uh, the way in which she atones but you know I, I hope that's not the end you know jinx has been through enough it would be nice to see that happy version of her that we saw in echo and heimendinger's reality that that they got to experience this version of her we still don't know where echo is we know that he came back is he going to be the catalyst that potentially reverses Versus all of this stuff or versus time before you know all of this stuff kind of goes wrong so many questions guys so many questions but man that was a great episode it definitely uh you know i enjoyed episode seven a little bit more i felt like episode eight was definitely uh, very much a plot builder in terms of getting things pumping before the finale which will definitely see a lot of those things you know kind of play out but you know all in all it was still a really fun really fun episode that i think built on a lot of things and you know obviously had a really important moment between caitlin and and, and vi that you know a lot of fans have been waiting for uh, i think it definitely lived up to the hype so one more episode to go guys in terms of this one though episode eight if you enjoyed this episode you already know what to do drop a like on this video subscribe if you want to become a part of the ultimate watch party and and comment down below what was your favorite part of this episode and if you want to see the full uncut version of this episode i'll put a link to my patreon in the description of this video and that's it guys that's all for me thank you so much for watching along with me and as always i hope you're safe i hope you're doing well and i will see you in the next video